my name is Hannah Hernandez. I'm a summer naturalist here at the Dorothy Pico Nature Center. And today for outdoor science, we're gonna be making elephant toothpaste. For our experiment today, we'll need one packet of yeast, hydrogen peroxide, dish soap, food coloring of your choice, one half cup, one teaspoon, one tablespoon, a funnel, and two containers of your choice. Safety precautions we'll take today are glasses, a jacket or a shirt that you don't mind getting messy and keeping your hair up. For our first step, we're gonna put one teaspoon of yeast and mix it with one, two tablespoons of warm water. We're gonna head and mix that until it's, the yeast has dissolved. For our second one, we're gonna head, head we need a separate bottle to mix this in. We're gonna put our funnel in we're gonna use a half cup of hydrogen peroxide. A nice big squirt of dish soap. And food coloring. Now we just pour it in. Now that that experiment works so well, we're gonna mess with the measurements. Speaking of elephant toothpaste, let's talk about elephants. We don't see elephants around here. They are found in Africa and Asia. Elephants eat what uh, roots, fruits, grasses, and um, bark. Um, they have specialized teeth for this, which is 12 premolars and 12 molars, just in the back. But what we see is a large tusk. Similar to an elephant, we have a tusk of a mammoth. This is just a small piece of the tusk, as the tusks can get very large, up to six feet long. You can tell how many different animals eat and what they eat by depending on what teeth they have. Tusks are used for many different things. Lifting objects and uh, protecting themselves from predators are one. Since elephants are found in more savanna type areas and they have big cats and bigger predators, those tusks are used to protect themselves. Next we have a badger. If we see in here we can see incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. Incisors are used to tear and uh, uh, canines are used to pull uh, meat off of animals and these back molars are used for uh, eating fruits and things like that. Here we have a bison. Bison don't have incisors or canines. That's because they eat tall grasses that they are able to grind up with those back molars. Pronghorns don't have incisors or canines either. That is because they rip up uh, vegetation tall, and tall grasses from the ground using these sharp, jagged edges. Here we have a coyote. As you can see, it does have incisors and a cane, or some canines. 
That's because these animals are carnivores and they need to tear the meat off of their prey. Here we have a jackrabbit. Jackrabbits have very pronounced incisors so they can eat seeds, grasses, and insects. In the back, molars are used to grind up these things. Here we have a raccoon. Raccoons are omnivores, so they have uh, very nice incisors, uh, canines, premolars, and molars to eat animals, and fruits, and vegetables. Thank you for joining me in this edition of Outdoor Science. I hope you liked it. Please make sure to go check out our other videos and our uh, Facebook and Instagram. Go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.